with us. Open up questions. Okay. For both of y'all, I guess, how do you kind of approach this week with not having a meet until Monday? Or is it kind of like, uh, or kind of approaching it as a buyer and not really for the meet so soon after? I think we're just so excited about what next week is going to look like. Um, I think this is the first time in my five years that I've done something like this, going on Monday to Friday. So just going into it with an open approach and um, knowing that this is a time that we can expand on our lineups, you know, build that depth even more. It's midway through the season and um, we got to keep that motivation going throughout the entire team. And we have a couple exhibition spots that we, um, Ash told us about, so we're excited to get those people in the lineup as well. Um, you guys started off on bars as like the number one team in the country and then you guys have had a dip the past couple of weeks. What do you guys think that you need to improve on in order to get back up to that um, status? I think it's just finding our edge again. We are a great bar team. We've got so much depth on the event and we just gotta use our cues. That's a big thing that we've been working on and not letting these last few meets define us because we are a great bar team. For Louisa, you're from Texas, right? So how special is it to have this meet um, in your fifth year next next week? I mean, it's always special going back home, but the TWU specifically, like I'm literally 20 minutes from my house. Like it is home. So I remember growing up, TWU versus Oklahoma, that was my first meet I ever went to as a little girl. And I think it was going to that meet and realizing that college was so fun and I wanted to be a part of that one day. So this meet really hits close to home and I'm super excited. We've been talking about it all week and I'm so excited for her to be back it's home. It's gonna be so many reunions, not just being back home with my family, but I have teammates um, that go to Arizona and they were my littles. So now that they're in college, I feel really old. And um, <laughs> Kiana George, she was our um, assistant coach last year and she's the head co or I think she's the assistant coach at TWU now. So just to see her growth and how she's approaching her new role and it's just a big reunion all around. So I'm super excited. You can have a lot of family and friends there. Oh yeah, always. <laughs> um, Louisa, how good was it to be able to hit your beam routine after your last meet? And then for both of you, um, what's it gonna be like to have another quad meet? You guys did really well in your last quad meet. How good is it gonna be to also prepare for the postseason? I think going into every beam routine, I don't necessarily think about what I had done the week before, whether it's going 10 or you know having an uncharacteristic mistake. I think if you go into that with the back of your head, it kind of psychs you out a bit, at least it does for me. So um, going to, into this meet, I think when you're in that situation, you respond one of two ways. You either you know rise to the occasion or you let yourself crumble. And that was the last thing I was gonna do for this team. These girls have my back day in, day out in the gym. So I was just doing my job. Um, it wasn't necessarily about, you know, hitting. It was just about enjoying the moment and finishing on the best note that I could for this team. Yeah, and the quad meet, I think it's just a great opportunity. As you've seen already once that this team does really well with the quad meet environment. And being at TWU, I'm just so excited to have another meet where the crowd's a little different and we get to focus on this team and build our own energy. For Louisa, obviously in your fifth year, you've gone through a lot. Um, kind of in the middle of the season, you've had some up and downs, obviously the last few weeks have been down. What's kind of um, the message to the team about, you know, pushing through? So we were talking about it on the bus because it's obviously frustrating when you come off a loss, but I think what's different about this team is that we aren't going to sit in the suck. We want to talk about it. We want to figure out ways that we can get better, and I think that's awesome. Um, and like you said, you got to treat this season like a marathon and not a sprint. And right now, I feel like we're sprinting because we know our potential. We know and we have proven it and we can do even better. So it's just finding that stride. Um, I was talking to um, Shay Mahoney. She was my senior when I was a freshman. And I just look up to her in so many ways and she's so good at articulating, you know, feelings into thoughts and then letting you have these aha moments. So I just looked up to her and I was like, hey, like you've been in my shoes, like what can we do? And it's just having the self-awareness of knowing that this is okay to go up and down, but um, you just gotta find that balance. And I think that's what we're, 
we're doing this week, especially knowing that we have a little bit of a bye, and then we have these two really exciting, you know, a quad meet and then our power pink meet coming up. So I think this is exactly what we needed. You both stuck your uh, vaults on <laughs> Friday. How big was it, and what was going through your mind, Chloe, especially because that was your first yeah, stuck vault. What, what was going through your head and um, what were those feelings that you felt whenever you stuck that landing? Well, you know, this vault for me has been a work in progress. That was like my sixth or seventh meet ever competing it. And so I was just so grateful, like, to have the opportunity to keep pushing and have this team behind me because as you've seen, I've had a couple of meets where I just haven't put it out there. And so this week I worked on not letting those meets define my vault because in the gym we always go one, two, like that's always the goal, sticking back to back. And so be able to put it out on the competition floor um, and when I did that vault and just having my whole team run up to me, it just, it was such a special moment, one I definitely will never forget. I mean, that was just incredible getting to watch. I think I blacked out when I did my vault. I was still off Chloe's stuck landing. It was just beautiful to watch, but you know, like she said, we always go one, two in the gym. She pushes me to find my edge, and I mean, this girl's a rock star. You guys are so lucky to have her for you know, four more years. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here without her. Just hearing like little pieces of advice, like on vault, like where to put my arms, how to get off the table. Like she helps me in so many ways. Just finding my edge. Anything else for the table? All right. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank, Thank you. you.